On the Prius C, the HV battery is under the rear seat. There are numerous clips that hold this panel uh, that covers access to the battery and other components. I want to show these because these are interesting. Normally, we kind of work to pry this little center button up and release the clip, but on these, you actually just push the center button in and that releases the clip. Okay. With the panels off, we have access to some important things here. The high voltage battery disconnect and the ground strap. So, so this process, which we refer to in another video, is called safing down the car. And there's two steps to it. One is to remove the 12 volt power so I can either disconnect the positive or negative cable. It's normal for this to spark a little bit as you disconnect it, that's okay. So I kind of hear a crackling and a spark. Okay, so. Because I have no 12 volt power, the contactors cannot close and connect high voltage power out of the battery into the rest of the car. So that's one safety procedure. The second is this, which actually breaks the circuit inside the battery. So we have an overlapping uh, safety precaution here, where if one fails, the other is still in place to keep us safe from the high voltage in this battery. Now, once we open the battery case, it's a whole different story. We are potentially exposed to high voltage battery. This whole process keeps us safe in terms of touching any cabling anywhere in the car except inside the battery. So we'll be getting there soon enough. First, we're gonna yank the seat up. We'll just pull up firmly and it has two uh, connectors that, that uh, are at the front edges of the back seat here. Got this out. All right, we've got four 14 millimeter bolts that hold this seat frame down. So these are quite snug. I'm gonna use my breaker bar to loosen them and then I'll switch over to my electric ratchet and spin them out. take this panel off. Now as soon as we lift this panel we have to observe high voltage safety precautions. So I'm going to loosen all the fasteners and then when I lift the panel and potentially stick my fingers underneath as I'm doing that I'll have my high voltage safety gloves on. So this is the last part of this process where uh, I don't need the high voltage safety stuff. This fastener is interesting. So this is designed to be unlocked with the high voltage disconnect. Uh, basically, it's trying to ensure that you have taken the high voltage interlock out before you can undo this. So I'll put this in here like this and twist. That's unlocked it and now it comes out. Okay. So I'm going to test my high voltage. I'm going to test my high voltage safety gloves, and I'll put them on. I'll undo this cover, and then I'll undo the uh, high voltage positive and negative wires. So I'm just going to make sure there's no holes in them, and I'm, I'm uh, happy with this one. And I'll do the same on this one. I'm rolling it up and just ensuring there's no holes in it. I'll try that again. Tightly rolled up. There we go. Okay, these are good. Now I'm going to put the leather over gloves on top of these, which actually serve to protect the gloves from being cut. These gloves are about $80, so you don't really want to tear them up. Here's the leather over gloves. Hi. 
All right, I have my safety gloves on and I have my Cat 3 meter. So now I'm gonna just go ahead and check that there's no voltage on these. No surprises there, this is insulated, the battery's off and the service connector's out. Uh, so I'll depress the finger on these and release them. Now I'll go ahead and check again. As expected, no voltage. Okay, so I've verified safety. I no longer need these gloves. I'm gonna go ahead and put my standard work gloves back on and continue disassembly and removal of the pack. Okay, I've got my cabling disconnected and I'm gonna go ahead and undo a series of plastic clips. And the main bolts that hold down the HV battery are 12 millimeter bolts. As expected, they're nice and snug. So I'll break them loose and then I'll come back and zip them out with the electric device. Go under here at angles. There we go. Now these are kind of interesting. These are uh, found on a lot of Toyotas and there's like a little finger uh, that's a little difficult to get. I've got to come kind of alternatively from one side to the other and press this finger in. They can be a little challenging, but don't break it, which is most people's uh, kind of intuition is just snap it. <laughs> so I got half of it out. And if I just press the other side, All right. All right, move to the other side. All right, this duct has one fastener right here. We'll go ahead and remove this. Slide it in there. Okay. There we go. Okay, stow that in the back. All right, now we have access to the last couple bolts plugs and clips. Okay, looks like we got two more bolts. That one and this guy under here. Okay, switch to my electric ratchet. Okay, I believe our whole HV battery assembly is free. Yes, it is. Looks like one last plug here. And one last clip. Okay. So this is definitely a two-person job. Uh, what we're going to do is hoist it onto the door sill, kind of change our uh, positions, and then lift it together. You can lift this alone, but... The way you're leaned over into the car, it's, it's a pretty good recipe for hurting your lower back. So I always lift these with two people. The sheet metal case is very sharp, so it's a, definitely a mistake to try and lift this with no gloves on. All right, let's pull this thing out of here. All right, here we go. Up you. Yep. There we are, and we're just gonna set it down right. Okay. Are you okay to come all the way out? Yeah, yes. Oh, yeah. And I'll set it down right here. Yeah. Now I'll describe what we did with this battery next, and we'll cover that in detail in a new video. 
So the customer wants to drive this car home today and we don't have a replacement battery on hand. Uh, so what we're gonna do to buy about a week of time where this car can be driven around or limped around is to go ahead and charge this one cell. So I'm gonna set up a power supply, bring the voltage up closer to the average voltage of the rest of the cells, uh, reassemble and reinstall, and then come back to this car when we have the replacement battery pack. My guesstimate for how long it'll drive post the uh, topping off of this one cell is two weeks. And I'm guessing that code will come on and then the car will not start or drive.